Building healthy self-esteem. Low self-esteem is something that unfortunately, many survivors of rape and sexual abuse experience. This video will explore some tips and exercises that can be used to build healthy self-esteem. Some people find the tips useful, but remember that different things work for different people at different times. Only try what you feel comfortable with and try not to put too much pressure on yourself. If something isn't working for you or doesn't feel possible just now, you can try something else or come back to it another time. Avoid negative self-talk and challenge your negative self-thoughts and self-beliefs. Try to evaluate your thoughts logically and ask yourself if they are realistic. Try to use more positive language and self-talk to describe yourself and practice positive affirmations. Replace self-criticism with self-compassion. Be kind to yourself and gentle to yourself at times when you feel like being self-critical. Think about what you would say to a friend if they were going through a similar situation. Value yourself and affirm your self-worth. You could consider leaving notes around your home, in your workplace, handbag or backpack that affirm your self-worth and achievements. Identify your strengths and resources and focus on what you are good at. For example, cooking, singing, doing puzzles, or being a good friend. Notice when you compare yourself to others and try to limit this. Remember that people do not always show their true selves. One way to minimize social comparison is to reduce your exposure to social media. If you feel the urge to say, I'm sorry, consider if this is necessary. Replace I'm sorry with more situationally appropriate statements, such as excuse me, or replacing sorry with thank you, such as thank you so much for your patience when you are delayed or have not responded sooner to a request or email. Notice and reflect on good things. You could try keeping a gratitude journal to practice this every day. Learn to be more assertive. Practice setting boundaries and saying no without feeling guilty. Pause before automatically saying yes to a request and ask yourself, am I saying yes because this is something I actually want to do or just so this person will like me, need me or approve of me? Sometimes it can be helpful to give yourself time to consider a request and say, let me come back to you on this. Learn to accept compliments. Practice saying thank you without negating them when you receive them. This may feel difficult or false at first, but with practice it gets easier and you will start to believe what others say about you. Practice self-acceptance by accepting who you are, including your strengths and your weaknesses. Focus on what you can change and set manageable goals. Make a list of your goals and priorities so that these do not get derailed by other people's needs, demands or requests. Set yourself challenges that are realistically achievable as achieving your goals will help increase your self-esteem. Celebrate your accomplishments, both the big and the small achievements, and reward yourself. A good way to reward yourself is to make a reward box in which you place small treats to celebrate your accomplishments. These could include chocolate treats, a scented candle, a new bath product, a book or favourite magazine, or handwritten vouchers made out to you to trade in, such as treating yourself to an experience like a massage, having a meal out with friends, or going to the cinema or a special day out. Act with integrity and do what you know is right. Look after your well-being by prioritising your needs and practising self-care, including exercise, healthy diet, sleep, rest and time for pleasure and joy. Reclaim pleasure and joy by doing things that make you feel good and find ways to relax, unwind and pamper yourself. Forgive yourself. Remember, everyone makes mistakes. Nobody is perfect. Build a supportive network and spend time with people who make you feel good and appreciate you and who you can trust. This can include family or friends, as well as a professional such as your counsellor or key worker. Make sure you speak to at least one person for at least five minutes every day. If you find it hard to trust people, then find other sources of trust such as animals or nature. Volunteer to help others. Find support for any other difficulties you are experiencing, such as anxiety or depression. Links to our wellbeing page containing further advice and tips and a template for keeping a gratitude journal can be seen below this video. Thank you for watching.